hey hi guys welcome back to my channel so today we are going to talk about an interesting topic that is mmcc feature extraction from audio so without wasting any time let's move so i will be creating a whole playlist for mmcc feature extraction so this will be your first video from this playlist so in this playlist I will first make some informative videos then we will move towards the practical implementation of MFCC so let's start so let's start with the introduction so in this introduction we will explore MFCC feature extraction it is a powerful technique used in speech as well as in audio processing so we will cover the basics of MFCC its application how it works and by the end of the presentation you will have a comprehensive understanding of MFCC if you are a student if you are a sound enthusiast then this particular video is very helpful for you so let's move forward so let's understand what is MFCC so MFCC stands for mean frequency septal coefficient so it is a technique used in extracting features from our audio signals so mfcc is widely used in speech recognition in speaker identification and in music genre classification so it is based on the human auditory system and it mimics the way we perceive sound so it is totally depend on and it always understand how we speak how we as a human identify a sound so let's see how does mfcc work this is a important topic so mfcc works by breaking down a audio signal into small frames so what uh, it will do suppose i'm having a audio sample of 10 seconds then it will break that audio sample into 10 different segments one second each so this is i just give an example so that particular segment it as small as possible so it typically around 20 to 30 milliseconds long only so it depend then it applies a filter banks to each frame then the filter bank nothing but which mimics the human air sensitivity to different frequencies so resulting filter bank energies and then transform using the discrete cosine transform to produce the mfcc coefficient so this is how the mfcc will work if you are not getting how mfcc work right now then don't take stress in consecutive videos we will be seeing with the help of diagram how mfcc work this is just an introductory video so let's see what are the applications of MFCC. So MFCC has numerous applications. It includes speech recognition, speaker identification, then music genre classification, then emotion detection. So it is also used in automatic speak recognition system such as Siri and Alexa. You have familiar with Siri and Alexa, right? So in this tutorial, we at the end of this tutorial, we will be making an automatic speech recognition system also as a part of our project. You are excited right now? Yeah. And the MFCC is a powerful tool for analyzing and processing audio signals. These are some applications of MFCC. So let's see what are the advantages of MFCC. So MFCC has several advantages over other feature extraction technique the first thing it is robust to noise and it can handle variations in pitch and speed it also has a low computational cost and can easily implemented on embedded devices like mobile phones smartphones laptops computers and the one more thing is mfcc is versatile and it is an effective tool for audio processing so let's conclude our video so mfcc is a powerful technique used in speech and audio processing 
It is based on the human auditory system and can extract useful features from audio signals. MFCC has numerous applications and several advantages over other feature extraction techniques. We hope this presentation has provided you with a comprehensive understanding of MFCC. So this is the first video of, of our tutorial which is based on MFCC feature extraction. In next videos we will be talking about what is MFCC, how we can use MFCC, how we can write the code of MFCC with the help of Python, how we can make speech recognition software with the help of MCC technique using python so stay tuned for the further videos if you have any questions make sure to comment i will be answering all the comments then that's all for today's video i hope you found it motivating and informative if you have any questions or suggestions feel free to leave them in the comment section below don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to my channel for more interesting videos thank you for watching we will meet in next video thank you